My name is Antonella Trovarelli and I am an Argentinian painter. Uh, I have been in Madrid for around six years. And we are here we are. Now I have my studio here in Salvadores Ciudad del Arte, that is a project that gets around a lot of different artists that we have our studio here and also you have a, a museum and a gallery. I have been in, in the project Zapadores, Ciudad del Arte, for two years. This, I, I have been painting for 12 years. For, for me, the most important things in my art, in my work, are the colors. I think in the sense that for me, colors are like emotions. So it's a way of working emotions. And it's, it's very important for me that the, that the persons, when they, when they look at my work, feel something. I, I don't, my, my, my art is for the people to, to feel things. Last month, uh, I finished my first solo show and it was called Desheredar lo Humano. Desheredar lo Humano. And the message I was trying to communicate in, in the show was that uh, the show is, is about these pictures, these figures, that they are like a kind of primitive and anthropomorphic figures. And they are, they are these figures or these characters, they don't adapt to the normal uh, society, but not because they don't want, it's because they, they are in, in a kind of search of, of something else, to, to get to the essence of themselves. So they are all in bones, or most of them are in bones, because uh, it's the, the, I, the part I consider we, all, we have all in common, all the humankind, because you can be uh, Chinese, you can be from United States, you can be from Ecuador or from Argentina, and we are all different, but bones are the same for every, for, for every human being. Well, right now I am exploring the theme of queer art. Uh, these paintings are an extension of me. So I, I like to, to feel that people can be interested in the theme, uh, in the LGTB community, to, to see that um, how we are, what we are, how we live. But it's like, because it's like, like I say, it's part of my life. This work that is called La Picadura del Mosquito Queer, the bite of queer mosquito. So it's a kind of joke, it has irony. And it's like, you know, when people say that being gay is a disease, and also when it's a, it's a way of laughing about that, and, the, and say, be, be aware because you're going to be bite with the queer mosquito, and you can become gay. And this is called uh, La Venus Sudaca. It's, I, it's Sudaca Venus. It's the way, uh, the, the respective way that we are being called here in Europe. In Europe. But it's a reivindication also of, of where we come from, of Latin America. And it's the, it's the work that, that gives the name to the show. And you can see like, it's like a dog, and the other dog are playing with this human body that is in bone. So they are like uh, dismantling and, and, come and they put it together again. And they are like in, in a kind of circle. So you are also have to be uh, like dismantling some idea and creating a new one. And it's like, it's showing in a symbolic way for me this process. Uh, I'm thinking uh, of how I will make art. <laughs> uh, 
but I, I do that doing other things like reading, playing the trumpet, walk with my dogs, but I'm always I'm always thinking on how to make art, but not doing art. And sometimes I, I can look or research things that don't have to do anything with art. But in a way, they, they finish in my creation process, always.